My name is Mike Sullivan. Uh, I am a former IRS agent of 10 years and a teaching instructor when I was there, and I have worked thousands and thousands of cases uh, since 1973. I welcome you to my YouTube channel. They're short, they're sweet, and they're to the point. Today, I'm going to talk to you about your IRS final notice. That's uh, CP Notice 504. That 504 notice is a wake-up call. It drives really a lot of business into tax practitioners uh, by, like myself and uh, really thousands of other people who go ahead and who are in this space. And um, 504 is, uh, you understand, you've got uh, a couple other letters before that. You usually got a CP2000, 501, 503. The 504 is the most serious of those notices. So what happens after you get the 504? Well, you should really have a game plan, a, uh, a, a an exit strategy on your case, what you're going to do. But how soon do you really need to react? Uh, IRS is going to send another letter out, which is called the 1058 letter. So um, you do have that 30 days, but they're going to follow it up with the 1058. And if you don't react within that 1058 letter, IRS is going to go ahead, take your bank account, your wages, or file a federal tax lien. So how are you going to resolve this case when you have your 504? First of all, you want to make sure all tax returns are filed. IRS is going to ask that. I used to ask them when I'd come out on, on, on these cases. Second, are you current? Are you up to date on your withholding or estimate? payments. That's really big. IRS wants to see that you understand by catching up, they'll work with you in, in that back part of the, the case that where you owe, we're going to owe the tax. And after, in fact, you do that, you want to go ahead and have an IRS financial statement prepared and looked at. A 433F uh, uh, is what the service center is going to require. Once IRS reviews that financial statement, that 433F, they're going to ask for it documented. How do you document it? With bank Bank statements with a, a page and a, 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 a page and uh, wage stubs, and they're going to want to look at your expenses. And IRS has what's called a national standard. That is, if you live in a certain area, they allow you this much to live on in that area. This is the key to all cases. And if you're not familiar with that, you need to be because that's going to determine the outcome of your case. So make sure all returns are filed. Make sure that you're, uh, you're current on withholding or estimated payments. And then be prepared to submit that IRS financial statement. And with that, they're either going to put you into a payment agreement, into a hardship, or you may be able to settle your debt for pennies on a dollar. Thank you for listening today. If you need me, you'll find my number available. Thank you.